Hi guys, welcome back to the next airport update. Next one in line today is uh, the Chicago O'Hare retro update. And this will take place in around summer of 1988 at Chicago O'Hare. So again, the layout is an exact representation of the airport at the time. However, hopefully all the airlines that you see and the destinations will be a good representation of what would have been seen back in the day at Chicago. So we'll start at this side of the regional terminal. Obviously, it's a hub for United. Uh, it was back then. It still is now. So first in the corner here, we have a United 727-100. And this has shortly arrived in from a short hop from St. Louis. And... Um, it's just unloading the air stairs ready for the passengers to disembark and make their way to the terminal with a little bit of cargo that is carried over some for some United maintenance as well for some of the other planes in the maintenance hangar. In the middle of the regional terminal we have a United 727-200. Now this is going to be departing out to Kansas City shortly. Um, the final bags are just being loaded and the stairs are getting ready to be removed as all the passengers are now on board. And the third and final aircraft in the regional terminal here, we have another United 727-200. And this will be departing out for a flight to Pittsburgh very shortly. The passengers and cargo and baggage is all loaded. The tug is in position, ready to push back. It's United, it's just waiting for the aircraft in the way. Speaking of the aircraft in the way currently is this Northwest uh, 757-200. Now this is just taxiing to the runway and will be departing for a flight out to Minneapolis St. Paul. This is in the thermometer livery, um, currently obviously with Northwest merging with Republic and this will soon be repainted in the what will become known as the bowling shoe livery. Uh, if we move over here to the next few taxiways we have a Continental. 747-100 in the gold meatball tail. Now this is taxiing to the runway as well and this is going to be doing an international flight over to Paris, Charles de Gaulle. And just in front of that and in front of the northwest, taxiing to the runway we have a FedEx DC-10 in the old purple top livery um, which is heading out for a cargo flight to Miami. The final one on the taxiway for now before we move to the main terminal is an America West 757-200 and this will be departing for a flight out over to the west coast back to its hub in Phoenix, Arizona. Now if we move to the main terminal here, so obviously mainly United but then a few um, linked carriers that are sharing the terminal. So on the corner here that's not quite connected to the main terminal um, through a jetway but with the air stairs we have a Piedmont 767-200 and this has shortly arrived in from a flight from Baltimore. Um, air stairs are loading front and rear. The coaches are waiting to receive all the passengers and then they will be driven back to the terminal where they can collect the bags and go on to their onward journeys. Now moving it into the main terminal, the first jet bridge connected is the Pan Am DC-10. And this will be preparing for a flight out to London Heathrow. The uh, jetway will be removed shortly. And if we come around the other side, you can see that the final bags are just being loaded. And the final bits of cargo that are being hot shipped over to London are being placed on the plane. On the corner of the main terminal, we now have the Tulip Run. Um, we have the United DC-10 up first. And... This is arrived in from Rome, over in Italy, and it's only arrived in about two minutes ago. You can see that the jet bridge is just attached and the um, conveyor belt has just connected, ready to take all the baggage off, and that will be uh, departing passengers and baggage very shortly. Next one down the line from the DC-10 we have a United L-1011 and this has also arrived in from Honolulu. Uh, also arrived in, sorry, but it's arriving from Honolulu. Um, again, this one's not long in before the DC-10, so the baggage has just been 
finished being unloaded and you can see it's getting ready to be taken to the terminal and the jet bridge is connected and the passengers are making their way off the plane. Next one down the line we have a United 767-200. Now this will be departing for a flight out over to the west coast as well, over to LAX. Um, and this is just currently be on changeover so it doesn't have any passengers on at the moment. It's currently being refuelled from its previous flight, being catered from the other side ready for its flight to LAX and then the passengers will be boarding in around an hour's time. Just being pushed back from the gate we have a United L1011 this will be just in front of the America West for um, takeoff so the America West is holding short while the United L1011 is pushed back into the taxiway and then will make its way to the runway and it will be departing for a flight out to Frankfurt over in Germany. And the final one on the wide body side of the gate, we have a United 767-200. Oops, if it focuses, apologies. And this has arrived in from Rio de Janeiro and it's currently just getting the final passengers off, so the, the, the air stairs at the back, all the passengers are off from the rear, the coach has already gone to the terminal, the final few passengers are just getting off the jetway at the front, and the catering truck is getting ready in place, ready to restock the plane for its next flight. Final two planes on the taxiway, we have an American DC-10, and this is taxiing to the runway for a flight out to Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Uh, this is second in line for departure and will be taking off within about five minutes time. And finally, the final aircraft for the taxiways, we have an Eastern Airlines 757-200 and this is just taxiing first in line to the runway for a flight out to San Juan um, where Eastern have a hub over there in the Caribbean. The final few aircraft are on the short haul side of the terminal and we have down the far side we have a United Express BAE 146 and this has arrived in from a short hop over from Detroit and the jet bridge is attached and just getting passengers off. In the middle of the short haul terminal we have a United 727-200 another one and this is going to be departing out for a slightly longer hop to Cleveland but not much further um, very shortly the final passenger is getting loaded and then undergoing some heavy service the final aircraft of this video and of the uh, main terminal for today is a Pan Am 737-200 and this has arrived in from Nashville and is now currently being recated um, for its next flight all the passengers are off and the luggage is making its way over for its next flight out which will be in around about 30 to 40 minutes time. So thank you all for watching. That has been Chicago O'Hare, 1988 roughly. Um, hope you liked it. Um, let me know what you think. Um, let me know what you'd like to see next. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe and share. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.